how Japanese judges Japanese. Take it easy. This way of thinking or method will not adapt to overseas people who use this among Japanese. The idea or method what I'm going to introduce today is not represent the Japanese way of thinking, but most of us know it as a convenient knowledge and use it occasionally in a real life. When Japanese get in touch with new people, we try to judge or categorize that person as soon as possible before we actually know each other. Why so fast? For Japanese, entering a new community or meeting with new people is always kind of very nervous because we don't want to show them a rude attitude. We want to take a right position and right behavior. And in order to take that position as soon as possible, we tend to be judged people earlier than we actually is. So how we judge or categorize people so first? The first message is age. Have you ever heard that Japanese are eager to know the age? Don't take it as offensive behavior. In Japan, we are repeatedly told to uh, respect the elderly. This is coming from the religious background, maybe of Confucianism. So we Japanese think the age differences is very, very important. Even it's one or two year differences we take it as a difference, and we have to use the keigo or honorific languages, the language used for the elderly person. And second way, this must be a common in the world. In Japan, we do have a various type of the dialects, so we can easily judge the people where he or she coming from. And by the area they coming from, we try to guess their character. And third is a blood type. This sounds strange for you guys, but in Japan, most of us know our own blood type. And even we introduce in ourselves, we added a blood type as an item, as well as our favorite or specialities or some hobbies. So in Japan, we take it as granted to know the friend's blood type or the colleague blood type. Well, you may feel a bad feeling, I understand. Please understand that Japanese is not trying to judge or categorize people by his or her given attribute. After we know each other deeply, then we recognize it as his or her actual character or personalities. So let me introduce. A blood type A counted for 40% in Japan, known as steady and reliable personality, need good at careful consideration, and relatively conservative. A blood type O counted as a 30% in Japan, known as optimism, big-hearted, romantic, and relatively rough personalities. And blood type B counted for 20% in Japan, having a lot of energy, active, creative, and artistic, rich in emotion, but sometimes get hard to hide it. Let's move on to AB type, 10% in Japan, having a wide interest, pure mind, be particular about something he or she love, and go in my way. How was it? This is the rough ideas of the each blood type character, and nobody proved it scientifically, so just take it as a, you know, entertainment. And finally, I would like to add the categorization which is getting popular among the youngers and this is sounds more like liar but this must be interesting for you in Japanese youngers we are now start to categorize people by statistics or masochistics and <laughs> even we first met uh, we can ask them whether you are sadistic or masochistic and there is also a way to judge a people by this action, whether you are sadistic or masochistic, please put your hand like this and ask your friend put your chin here. If he or she put your chin like staring at you, then he must be a sadistic. But someone putting his or her chin like dropping her eyes like this, then she must be a masochistic. This kind of the categorization is getting so popular in Japan. So today I introduce 
four types of the categorizations, ages, the areas, the blood type, and SOM. We're using this various type of categorization in order to understand the other personalities as soon as possible. Do you have some your own country's way to judge people? Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you could enjoy that. You will not feel bad. And if you are not subscribing my channel, please visit this link and subscribe my channel in order to get updated videos. And I'm also doing a Twitter and a Facebook. And in Twitter, I'm introducing the latest news as well as a tourist information. And in the Facebook, I'm sharing the baby photos. So if you are not, please go to the link below. And looking forward to the next video. See you, bye!